The temptations to which we are daily exposed make prayer a necessity. Dangers beset every path. Those who are seeking to rescue others from vice and ruin are especially exposed to temptation. In constant contact with evil, they need a strong hold upon God lest they themselves be corrupted. The reason why so many are left to themselves in places of temptation is that they do not set the Lord always before them. When we permit our communion with God to be broken, our defense is departed from us. Not all your good purposes and good intentions will enable you to withstand evil. You must be men and women of prayer. Your petitions must not be faint, occasional, and fitful, but earnest, persevering, and constant. It is not always necessary to bow your knees in order to pray. Cultivate the habit of talking with the Savior when you are alone, when you are walking, when you are busy with your daily labor. Let the heart be continually uplifted in silent petition for help, for light, for strength, for knowledge. Let every breath be a prayer. As Christians, when we go out into that battlefield, when we go out into the world where we know the devil and his demons are trying to attack us and bring us down and cause us to fall to temptation, we need to always be carrying around our bulletproof vest or our armor or our shield, which is to protect us from the attacks of the devil. And we need to be constantly connected to God through prayer, through communion with him. There's definitely been circumstances in my life where I thought I was stronger and I kind of put myself in situations where I know I'm going to be tempted. And first of all, that's not smart. And second of all, I'm not really praying and I think I'm strong enough. I'm relying on my own strength. And there have been times where I have fallen to temptation or compromised on things that I know I shouldn't have done. But on the contrary, when I'm always keeping God in my mind, when I'm always praying and spending time with Him, I'm strengthened and my morals and my restraint is actually girded and reinforced so that when I come into contact with these kind of things, I'm able to withstand temptation. That's exactly how God wants us to operate. We are supposed to pray without ceasing. Prayer is supposed to be the breath of the soul. And we're not supposed to just pray sporadically, but ideally we should be praying to God all throughout the day. We should always be thinking thoughts towards God and just communicating with Him in our mind. We don't need to kneel down and pray every single time, but we can literally just be thinking towards God. And that in itself is prayer. I hope this was a blessing and I hope you have a great rest of your day.